Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shartout. Uh, today we are going to explain how to update and get the user data uh, from our authentication uh, system we have been uh, doing for a while now. We have a lot of videos. So if you look here, uh, find a route in Centum uh, that get the user data. It's already by default, I found it. So I'm gonna copy it and put it here. Uh, in our uh, routes group, as you can see here, and just make it on get route and profile. Uh, and let's run our server and test it. So here it is. So this is route, uh, and this is my account here. I will log in. And just here. So I carry the token and put it here, and the barrier token and put the X token. And this is the data we have bought, uh, you know, in, in the previous lessons, as you can see, previous videos. So this is the part of it. Now we need to update on our. Uh, user data so the user can update profile. The first thing we need to do is creating um, a request, a form request for validating this data. So as you can see, PHP Artisan make a request and I will put it in us folder and profile update request. <clears throat> That's the first thing. Second thing, let's create our controller, profile controller, for updating uh, the data. As you can see in OOS profile controller. Here it is. So let's uh, create our roots. This is our validation roots. First thing, make it true. Then I will copy. It's prepared data here. So this is uh, the first first name. We'll make it required and maximum 100. And same for last name. The form will be, as you can see, it's sometimes uh, between 5 to 20 uh, digits. And it should be unique except for the user ID with access token, of course. And the same thing with the email. Gender will be sometimes. Uh, uh, but email we need to make it uh, required. Birthday will make it here the email for the data and for the same user except the user. Here we need to uh, to modify it. The date format will make it day, uh, month, year, and the image will be JPG, PNG. Uh, GBG web, uh, web B and maximum 2 mega. Now this is our validation rules as you can see. So let's make let's create our controllers for the update. So we call this a profile update request here yeah, and the user model. And let's create uh, the update function here with the uh, profile update request as a parameter for, for validation for validating the data. The user comes automatically from Sanctum. You can find it in uh, request user. Here we'll get all the user data. Let's get the validated data. Request validated. Yeah. Now, so this is, um, so let's update the user data. So user update validated. 
and of course uh, in the next video we'll uh, explain how to upload uh, the user profile image but for now we're just going you know, to update uh, you know normal data so user refresh we are refreshing the, the data after update so we get the last uh, the latest uh, data for the user model and uh, the success uh, array as usual for the user data and success true and there will be a response in JSON with 200 status and let's create the route here for the route will be bot put yeah with the profile and uh, uh, profile controller class we called function uh, update and here let's go to class now so now we need to test it on Postman here I will fill uh, the whole data the whole data we need here so I just uh, this is the required data for updating the user uh, username last name and gender and birth date uh, with authentication barrier token here as on form data and let's send it we get an error but this error because we need to to make the to tell it's it's a boot data not boost in Laravel we need to add another input here would be underscore method it will be boot this is how we use the boot route now we got everything updated as you can see thank you for watching bye bye